There was now no doubt. This ancient image of the stars was European. It seemed that in some ways, European Bronze Age man really was as sophisticated as the civilizations of Egypt and the East. But now they had to figure out, what did the disk mean to those Europeans who had made it? Professor Miranda Aldous Green thought she had the answer. An expert in Bronze Age religions, her starting point was that in those ancient times, most pictures weren't for decoration alone. They had a meaning, often a sacred meaning. And when she looked at the disc, she gradually began to piece together a mosaic of religious symbolism. As we begin to put the thing together, it gets better and better. First, there was the sun, worshipped at Stonehenge and all across Europe as the bringer of life. The sun is absolutely central to Northern European Bronze Age religion. There's a clear connection between the sun and life. If the sun disappears, then life comes to an end. The next piece in the jigsaw, a crescent moon. The moon had been associated with cults from Germany to Scotland. It was used as a symbol to mark the passage of time. Time is something very inexplicable in the past. And if you can control time and if you understand time, then you are a powerful, a powerful human being. And then, of course, there was the horizon band, marking the sun's sacred solstices in Central Europe. We can see that what is represented is something which marks the summer and winter solstices at sunrise and sunset. So an immensely complex picture is beginning to build up. Alongside all these symbols from North and Central Europe, there was also the sunboat, found as far away as Egypt. We have mythologies from this period which tell us that the sun, during the night, travelled by means of a solar boat. And lastly, of course, there were the stars. Perhaps the most spectacular thing to see is the final piece in the jigsaw. And these are the Pleiades. It appeared in March and disappeared in October, vital dates for Bronze Age farmers. We know from Greek writers that the Pleiades were used as an agricultural marker so that farmers knew when they should do certain agricultural activities. So what the Nebra disc does is to tell people that it's not only the right time to do it, but it is the, the blessed time to do it. Seeing them all together, that's the important thing. I mean, that was what was so mind-blowing for me. We've got all together the sun and the moon, and that, that by itself would have been exciting enough. But not only that, but we've got symbol upon symbol piling onto this disc. In the dark heart of Europe, an area traditionally seen as primitive and uncivilized, 3,600 years ago, it seems that a complex religion had taken root. Bronze Age European man had been able to codify his entire religious belief in a simple, portable form. This could not have been the work of a primitive, uncivilized people. We're dealing with people who had tremendous ability, not only technological skill, 
but also immense intellectual ability. They were able to conceive of their world, they were able to represent it. There is tremendous imagination here and there is an ability to encode information and beliefs and pass them down from generation to generation. Here in the supposed dark heart of Europe, something profound and complex was happening 3,500 years ago. Civilization was dawning. <laughs>